Alright guys, so now the next part in this build is the final build piece and that is working on the head. For the head, the head um, has a deer skull on top. So I made a crude little drawing of a deer skull. I can't draw a deer, but this gives me kind of an idea where the skull is. So this is going to cover that that um piece already, that the servo and everything. Per Get the controller, keep it closed. So anyway, this just sits on top of the gear skull. This just sits on top of the head. You'll get to see the lights in the eyes and everything. So, I already got started on this. Now, I made the skull on... I made the skull out of bailing wire and so on. And this is what I came up with right now. I'm still sealing it up right now, but it's got the little deer nose in there. get that let's get that thing covered in there huh So now I got the, the nose stuffed up. So yeah, I'm going to continue taping on this piece. Get it working. And so on. I'm going to hot glue this foil in. And so far. Now I'm going to tape all, I'm going to glue all this, run some glue on there to make it more stiff. So, I'll be back in a while. Alright guys. I got my skull finished. I got my skull now. And so on. Um, I have access ports inside. Or I can pull open if I need to set the servo again I got my plugs in the back so now I can apply the next part and for that to be I'm going to apply some I'm gonna apply the antlers 
and get this thing working. So yeah, this character is sculled up. I hot glued it at the bottom. I wrapped the shell in aluminum foil. To set it up. So much for everything. When you plug the skull in, this is what happens. I got the skull plugged in. I got the plug for the skull. And this is a complete skull right here that lights up and everything. I started up my connections. Me. Turn her on. Plug in the back. Um. Now, the skull is lit up. These are ambered LED lights that I put on. And they give the creature a haze. They give the creature a creepy eye look. Because inside the skull, I'm going to also make polymorphic eyes. I'm ordering the, pol the polymorphic eyes are coming inside for me. So on. So for now, this is all I can do right now. As soon as I plaster cloth it, then I can apply... I can apply my top part. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, yeah. This creature... This creature is ready to go. Now I just need to place the eyes. Um plaster cloth it and so on so yeah so yeah workable skull and everything clear this up take all this these little webby little pieces off and so on so for now She's done for now. So I'll be back. As soon as I get some plaster cloth in, I work on the antlers. Alright guys. So now I continued on to the next step in the this top beam build. And now I added the another layer of of tape and foil. I am um, put the little black piece that is in the nose of these deers and started um, working on the, the antlers. These two are just PVC pipe. These are connections that are, I glued on and taped. These are what's going to hold the antlers and the antlers spurs out. So my next step right now in this is I'm gonna plaster cloth it now to seal this all up and it won't move or anything the inside is hard because I put a couple layers of hot glue and taped up inside I have really large I have really bad pain trying to get the form off the skull last night so, what I did, it was too flimsy. So now, my next part is going to be getting the, getting some plaster cloth 
and plastic cloth in this whole thing. Plastic cloth will hold it, and so on. And then, since I have a big gap where the controller is in the back, I'm going to put hair back here to cover up the controller. Make it look more like this thing is still partially human. So anyway, yeah. I'm going to take a look at some more of a deer skull. And then later on I'll put on the eye sockets. We'll do the teeth. I'll do the teeth on it. And then after that. After that we'll move on. I'll put this all together and get the motor running and then I can start fleshing out this character. I can start fleshing out this character. This this has been a crazy thing. I now want to flesh out my character. And so on. This just sits on top of the head. I'm going to run some string on in the bottom to keep the um, skull on top of the skull. So yeah. So this is the next part. So I'll see you guys when I get some plaster cloth on this guy. Alright guys, so now I prep my piece, my hat, the top of the monsters thing. I went ahead and paper mache it. This will give me, this will give me prep so when I get ready to The plaster cloth it, it will help hold its shape. I add some more, de I add some detail to it, finish the, put the eyes in it, put the little horn pieces, the ports. As soon as I plaster cloth, I'm going to fabricate the, the horns or the antlers. Whatever they're called. In the rest, next thing after that, I'm going to wait for some polymorphic plastic and attach the teeth to this monster. So anyway, yeah. This is still wet. I got that about 5.30 this afternoon. I think it was 5.30. And it's about nine, nine something, about four hour over. Excuse me. So my next step is plaster cloth this creature. But first, I need to also I also need to put something that the this will sit on top of the skull. I'm just going to gradually let this dry all overnight. And so on. Let this dry overnight. Get, get it set next. Get it set for plaster cloth. Cover up the eyes. Cover it all up and then work on the antlers. After the antlers are popped in, I'm going to start. I'm going to get the motor in. I'm about ready to aura motor. And then I can start fleshing out this creature. So anyway, yeah. 
So anyway, I'll see you guys after I get done plaster cloth and stuff. Okay, guys. So now, the next thing in the build is building the antlers. These creatures have these antlers that stick out for some reason. And antlers can be very expensive. But this one's a little bit different. Instead of going out and hunting a deer and taking its antlers, this is how I make how I'm making these antlers. So this is how far I've got. I went online first and I looked on on um, the show on the um, pictures and I thought hey I can make antlers easier I can make antlers where they can be done and just the same now this is just bit PVC pipe that I did did those ports that were in the in the air part of this video that were glued this is just bent PVC pipe that plugs into them and I started masking tape in this character this thing I got done with the paper mache so this is how far I got on this creature I'm going to do more on the antlers and so on. My dad said earlier, he said, if you keep doing more antlers, it's going to look like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Maybe I am, maybe I got rid of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. But anyway, yeah. This has been done. Now, let me bring it in, bring it in next. Um, you remember the skull? Well, let me plug it in, and I got the skull done. I got in there, replaced the piece. So, the skull is done. You can see a little light blinking in the back. I put the eyes in, wired it up, and if I can do it, That's as big as this thing's gonna get. So it looks more in the drawing. That's gonna be like that. I'm still gonna be building more on the antlers, developing them. It's gonna be an eight point. These are gonna be eight points. Four four on one side and four on the other. Eight point. <laughs> And there's, these are those Alaskan white tear deer, deers, I think they're called. And they got eight points on their antlers. So yeah. I'm going to run some string. I'm going to run some string in the bottom. Tie it by. And so on. So the top can be set. But yeah, so I'm going to continue on building the antlers to this thing. I'll show you when it's done. Alright guys, so now I put the antlers on. And that is a four, 
four points. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute. Six point. Six point. Six point buck skull. No more can be put on it. The only thing I got now to do is just plaster it. Alright guys. So, my next step in this build now is I applied some patching material and then I applied some saran wrap that I had lying around. And then I did this to it. Yep. This is just blue, this is just spray paint blue for a primer. The paint's still drying, so I'm going to next get some of that bed liner that you see in you see in trucks. I'm gonna go to my harbor frame and go get it. And pretty much I'm gonna spray that over the paint. I'm gonna spray paint that over the paint. And then layer next thing we can do is actually start flushing out this creature. The plastic came in today, came in the other day, and so on. So now, my next step is now to actually get some truck line equip liner, some spray, some of that spray liner, and spray paint this for the final coat. I'm going to also, since I have that, I'm going to get in there and then I'll finish in the facial, the facial creatures, the facial features, and so on. So now the next step is let it dry all night and next plaster, plaster it. Not plaster it, but plastic it. Then I can start flushing out the character, finally. Which I've been waiting for for months to do. Frankly, the character is all done. So, now, since I'm doing that, I'm going to show you guys... I'm going to show you guys a final part when this is done, and then we'll start building the teeth to the skull. So yeah, this is the next thing. Just to spray this thing completely, this is the next part. Alright guys, so the next step in the build for the head is on the skull giving it the giving its teeth now I've already done five of them the skull has ten teeth on each toll so I made some teeth this is polymorphic plastic and it's a it's a molding plastic. Yeah. It's a molding plastic. And everything. So now, I got five of the ten teeth. These these flats will just go they'll go like this on t on the skull get all set up like this put 
with this big tooth in the back. Yeah, a set of these. These will go on the deer skull before I can make some others. I made them out of polymorphic plastic, like I just said. It came in, so I sculpted some teeth. Or you can take this plastic and make fake Halloween dentures for your costume. That's what I heard. And I need some teeth for my character. I'm going to use the polymorphic plastic on the skull when I get ready to do the sharp teeth in the mouth. And so on. But if you drop it, it's hard. It's a nice hard material. You can make some dentures for your own mouth. I don't know. I've never done polymorphic plastic. But since it takes 182 degree water just to do, it's kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it's kind of funny. Not kind of funny, but it's kind of fun to do in a way. If you really care about doing this stuff. People don't like to get out there and make their own stuff. They rather have professionals do it and everything. Which is okay. Which is okay with doing professionals. But for me, I like doing my own stuff because I get to put my twist on the stuff. I don't have to have a professional come and pay them so many pieces, so much money. Polymorph teeth like these would probably cost, what, 30 something, 30 something a, a set? I don't know, I'm just estimating what it is. And then you have to pay them outrageous fees and everything. I don't like paying fees. So I rather make my own things. So I'm going to make another set of these. Just as soon as I can get the campy the spray for the skull and so on. I'm going to make another set of these today. Not today, but later on. Now well, I'll have them all ready and I can glue them into the skull. And they'll be all done. I hear cyano acrylate super glue would work for these. I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is how it's how I made them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another set, glue the teeth in. And so on. Bink. And now I'm now have made ten teeth. You can see these are still drying a bit. This polymorphic plastic, this stuff is awesome. I like this stuff. Cook it up to I found if you put it 200 degree, it stays together. It's thought it's thick enough to it'll be soft enough to work with. And when they harden, they'll turn bone they'll turn white. Solid white. And now these are just drying. This is this is cooling still and these teeth are ready to be sand down a bit a bit and so on so now as soon as I get the truck bed coating on we'll we'll attach them on the skull and 
the skull will be finished, I can paint it, and so on. Use some cyano acrylay glue. Well, I'm probably going to use Gorilla Glue to set these teeth in. No. I planned on making the nails out of it too. The nails, the teeth, the eyeballs. So now I have all 10 of my creature's teeth now. Takes one bag of pellets to make one bag. It takes two bags of pellets to make one bag to make ten teeth. And so on. I'm going to make some dentures for, for Mr. Skull up there. Make ten make some dentures for his mouth to give off that those pointy teeth because I was looking at the character for the Lost Tapes episode and I saw the the monster had pointed teeth and instead of buying dentures that are expensive I'd rather make them out of these so yeah 10 teeth already all ready to go in the mouth so yeah whole hand of these teeth are done and everything gonna put them up now and so on Alright guys, so finally we got the head sprayed. Before we got sprayed, we got out here and my dad made a wood block inside. And he sprayed, he attach this um, skull to the top of the head so now it's if I can get it back it's one gigantic piece so yeah this is one gigantic piece um, good good it's um it's dry we're going to spray it one more time and then I'm going to place the teeth on it. And so on. So yeah. It's one gigantic piece. So yeah, it's this is what's next on the part. The creature's all sprayed. The head sprayed. He used, he used some plumbing tape, some kind of metal looking tape with, some kind of metal looking piece with holes in it. Let me see, here's what he put on it, and he placed the, he placed it and anchored the antlers to this so it's one one piece. So yeah. So next I'm going to go out I'm gonna go ahead and let him spray the final coat and then we'll glue the teeth on that I'll cut I'll close this video out. So yeah. Alright guys so now the creature now has the teeth on there and 
so on. So pretty much this creature is ready to go. The head's ready to go and do do its job. Now when I get up there, when I get done, I'm going to put contact, I'm going to put hair around. Around the skull. Just to give it more of a human look. And then we can do something about these gums right here. So yeah. I got the hands in already. The hands are being ordered. The hands are in. Um, tomorrow I'm ordering the motor. And pretty much this creature is ready to go. This creature's ready to go. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah, it's ready all to go now. So I'm gonna end up. The, I'm gonna end this vid, this um thing. In the next video, I'm going to work on the hands. So, see you in the next video.